Welcome back to the channel guys. We are back again and today I'm going to be doing first impression for Golden Dalla and Neo. So stay tuned for that. And if you like the content guys, hit that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. So I recently picked up Italica, as I've mentioned in a few of my previous videos, and there was a really awesome sample set that came with it, and it was great. Also, because I got to customize, pick the four fragrances that I wanted to try. Now, I picked a decent variety here, spicy, coffee, fresh, and I love coffee fragrances, so I want to try Golden Dalla. This one does sound like a really nice coffee dominant fragrance. And that's really something that I find a lot of fragrances with coffee lack. It's very seldom the actual star of the fragrance. It's very seldom that it's the case that it's up front and center. Of course, there are things like pure coffee, where at least when the coffee note is there, it is certainly dominant. There are things like follow by kerosene, both of these great fragrances. But I love those types of fragrances, so I thought this would be an excellent, excellent one to try out. I'm going to do this one first, and then I'm going to jump into Neo. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So right off the top, I definitely get the spices that are in this fragrance. It does come off like a bunch of different spices. I can't pick out anything specific like cinnamon or cardamom, anything like that. But there is definitely a strong spiciness. I actually get a little bit of the oodiness here. So it does have a woody quality. And at least right up front, I'm not getting a ton of the coffee. There's definitely a sweetness there, and I think that's from the cacao, so it does have a nice sweetness. Definitely not what I was expecting, but it does smell pleasant so far. I definitely get a little bit more of that coffee now, which is definitely giving more of a sweet type of blend. I think that's mixing with the cacao. This isn't really um, like a bitter coffee, but it is definitely a nice coffee that's starting to emerge in this fragrance. So it has this balance of these spicy notes in the opening with a bit of a sweetness and woodiness and an emerging coffee note. I definitely also pick up a little bit of incense. So there is kind of a smokiness there, but it's not a very heavy incense. This comes off more like, um, actually the kind of incense I would have thought of burning maybe even in a church or um, you know, maybe when I was younger or something like that. This is not a really, really smoky kind of incense, but it does have a little bit of that vibe to it. This is actually a very interesting composition in the fact that there's a lot of things that are from different areas coming together. You have spicy, you have coffee, you have sweet, you also have a little bit of incense smokiness. So it really is a blend of a lot of different things going on. So it makes it kind of complex and interestingly enough this is not clashing so that's really nice to have these variety of different scents that aren't actually clashing with each other this one is nice so far i'm gonna try out neo come back to this one then go back to neo again give my final thoughts on this first impression so let's go into neo Oh, that is really green. That's really, really green. So it's very green. I get a lot of actually bergamot. It's a bit tart. But there's a greenness there. It's very fresh. This is actually quite interesting. That smells really nice. So this is definitely similar to what I was expecting from the fragrance. It has a greenness, very hard to describe it as a particular kind of greenness, but it has this very green feeling to it. There is definitely something else going on there in the background. I can't quite sort it out, but it has a nice freshness. It's bright. It's definitely very heavy on the citrus. This is one thing that I've said in a number of videos and one thing I really, really enjoy with a lot of fragrances. They have this really great um, bitter kind of grapefruit note or bitter orange peel note. I really enjoy those types of fragrances and this definitely does have that vibe to it. 
very nice green fresh bitter fragrance now i will mention i definitely as i'm moving around as i'm talking i'm getting a lot of sillage from golden dallas so i think this is one of those fragrances that has uh, a lot of power to it because it is starting to overpower uh, neo quite a bit there is um quite a bit of sweetness in the air when i with this one it's definitely a lot sweeter in the air than it is on skin. There's a definite sweetness, a bit of a chocolatey kind of vibe. And it does have um, some kind of a, a little bit of a bitterness with that coffee note, but it is um, definitely a lot more sweet. It's definitely a lot more sweet in the air than it is anything else. So jumping back to Neo really quickly, um, you know, what I get from this is a bitter tartness a lot of greenness kind of reminds me of maybe a fresh dewy um, leaf or something like that. There is a nice green leafy quality to this. Really feels like somebody's just squeezed grapefruit all over you. Has a nice bitter kind of tart note to it. And a very powerful fresh greenness. Very crisp. Um, I think this is definitely one, of course, that I'm sure everybody um, that knows this fragrance has thought of. This is a spring summer fragrance all the way. Very nice, very fresh, very invigorating, and I do enjoy it. Again, Golden Dollar, last thoughts. Sweet. I get quite a bit of the incense. That woodiness, that oodiness, totally gone. I did get a hint of it in the opening, but it's definitely gone now. And it has a little bit of a sweet, chocolatey kind of coffee vibe to it as well. Both of these fragrances smelling and opening very nicely. Um, these are ones that I'm going to have to wear more in the future and give some more thought to, but I definitely want to do a full review on both of these fragrances. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite from Zerzhov, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.